T7, you found the ship with Satil Shan and her students. Finally. Great work. We need those coordinates now. There isn't a moment to spare. back. We have the coordinates. Leave it to us. Ah, we need to get there now. The servants have found their master. The servants? I can't believe there are any of them left. You speak of the former Emperor's hand. Servant 1, Servant 2. Their ilk. Precisely. Those two are long dead. But there were more behind them. More than even I knew. Each time we think we've killed the last of them, more always appear. We have to get moving. If the servants are involved, this is even worse than we thought. How did they even find your ship? We had a head start and it still took weeks. They must hear their old master's call in their minds. Just as we feared. We can't risk taking anyone else. They won't be able to resist the Emperor's control like we can. I'll get a shuttle prepped. Meet me as soon as you're ready. One way or another, this ends today. I realize this is something you must do without me, but I couldn't let you go without at least wishing you luck. The way this is unfolding, I'm completely disheartened. I never dreamed we'd face Valkorion again. And now you must do so without my help. I hope you know that if I could, I would be by your side for this. I always appreciate your concern, but I hate making you worry. This will be over soon. I promise. I don't doubt it. Just stay safe. Good, you're still here. I was hoping to catch you before you took off. What is it, Theron? I hope there's room for one more on that shuttle, because I'm going with you. I appreciate the thought, but are you sure? I know it's risky, but Satil is in trouble. I have to help. I lost one parent. I'm not just standing by and letting the other one go. Not if there's something I could do to save her. Whatever the Emperor's doing, I can resist it. I was on Zyost. He didn't control me then. Sure as hell won't let him affect me now. Commander. We need to speak with you. Before you go. Whatever you need to say, I'm listening. We're coming with you. We helped you defeat Valkorion before, and we won't abandon you now. Whatever this weapon is that he's unleashed, I'm sure it won't have any power over Arkin and I. This is just as much our responsibility as it is yours. If there's the slightest chance Falcorian could return, we must do what we can to stop him. Sorry to interrupt your... send-off, but we need to get going. We will accompany you. I'm going too. That is... really not a good idea. Kira is correct. Too many are already infected by Tenebrae's weapon. Bringing you is too great a risk. That's not your call to make. The only orders I'm following are the commanders. All right, then. What do you think? I wasn't expecting anyone to offer to come with us, especially since we don't truly know what we're up against. We're going to need all the support we can get. Thank you. If that is your decision... It is. Then let us proceed as carefully as possible. This changes the entire plan. I wish you all good luck, and I'll keep our forces here on high alert. Should you need us, just say the word. We appreciate the support, Lana. Thank you. Whatever you need. Enough talk. 
Let us depart before we lose the droid. We're here, scanning the transport. Power fluctuations, system failures. Looks like the engines are out of commission. There's a ship parked in the hangar bay, but I can't tell if it's T7 shuttle or the servants. There's our answer. We'll have to go in through one of the airlocks, but we can't connect while they're shooting at us. Leave them to us. Locked on and sealed. We're ready to go in. Your Jedi friends will be all right. You can trust me. I hope so. For the record, this ship was not creepy when we left. Now it's the compressor. Impossible! I checked it not five minutes ago. Check it again! What's going on down there? We must leave immediately. Doesn't make sense. Every time we repair one system, another fails. That must be T7's handiwork. Wonder where he's hiding. Let's find a way to take these guys down quietly once their boss disconnects. No sense. You will not escape. This ship will be your tomb. You were saying? Come on! Right. I will be soon. It's good to see you too, little guy. Great work stalling them till we could get here. <laughs> so these guys aren't our only problem then. Who else would even know about this? It doesn't matter. Anyone who stands against us will die. Must die. They may have come for the same reason we did. We shouldn't assume they're enemies. Agreed. Containment should be our first priority anyway. All right, I'll take T7 and make sure the engines and hyperdrive are permanently shut down. Weapons and shields, too. Just in case. We must still ensure that no one who has boarded this ship can leave. We cannot risk this corruption spreading. We should check all the escape pods, then launch them before anyone can use them. That mystery shuttle in the hangar, too. T7 can take our shuttle out once we've finished sabotaging everything. Agreed. Stay in contact. This ship is... huge. Yes. Huge. Yes. Is there a question? Why such a huge ship? Oh, it doesn't matter. We need to stay focused. Just got two more servants. They must have packed them in tight on those shuttles. That's the last of them. Tenebrae's dogs won't escape us now. You truly hate them, don't you? They are beyond contempt. They betrayed their empire, betrayed the entire galaxy, to absolutely no purpose. As Sith, we break our own chains. Choose our own path. Overcome all that stands in our way. These wretches wear the name Servant with pride. They happily enslave themselves to a madman. That the Sith ever tolerated them is repugnant. That we still contend with their delusions after all these years. You've been in this fight for a long time, but it's almost over now, I promise. Let's make our way to the hangar. We need to find out who else seeks to wear the former Emperor's chains. We left only a few droids to guard the ship. To cause this much damage, 
Someone else must have been fighting the servants. These scorch marks are from lightsabers. Yes. The servants use them. But who was here to fight them? That's an Eternal Empire shuttle. From Zakul. Old servants and new, vying for scraps from their once great master. Pathetic. The shuttle could have been stolen. There were a lot of them. No. Not here. Not now. It couldn't be a coincidence. Mm. I sense no one on board. Shield generators are toast. We're taking the weapons offline now. We've launched all of the escape pods and cleared the hangar. There may be Sakulans on board. Just what we needed. We'll keep our eyes open. Time to take the bridge. I'm ready. How could you afford a ship this size? We didn't. Kira stole it. Hey, don't drag me into this. I wanted to take the Corvette. Faster, more maneuverable. About ten less decks to clean. I need my space. Engines are history. This thing won't be moving another centimeter. Unless an even bigger ship comes along to tow it, of course. Enough! Sorry. Sorry. You're right. There is no ship big enough to tow a scrap pile this size. Enough. These corpses. Signs of Zaku. Their leader told me they would return when it was their time to die. They must have taken the ship off course in the first place. But were they trying to hide from us? Or the servants? Are they allies or enemies? The Scions follow their prophecies above all. There's no way to know whose side they're on. Then we approach with caution. Assuming any of them are still alive. So many lives lost. It must end, here and now. Revan. The end is closer than ever before, but the threat is as dire as we could have imagined. The ritual inscribed on Tenebrae's body, the plague that was unleashed, is feeding on its victims' minds. Tenebrae is being remade. I can feel it. You must intervene before it's too late. You must be the ally Scourge mentioned. You guided him to Tenebrae's body. We hoped that destroying it would finally end him. But destroying his body wasn't enough. His essence itself must be obliterated. That is our plan. Kira will lead us in meditation. We will join our minds with Satil's and end his blight on the galaxy. Forever. Then go, quickly. I will aid you as best I can. Kira, the bridge has been secured. We're all clear too. Meet you with the med bay. Does Kira know you've been working with Revan? I did not mention the specifics. Kira fought his followers on Yavin. I wasn't sure she would trust him. Come. The end is in sight. Eskel's prophecy. At last, we are here. You will not stop this. You cannot stop this. You will never win. Vakorian's last vestige will be saved from your corruption. You were puppets. Fools. We were his true followers. Only we knew the true shape of his power. Of his plan. You were all puppets. The man you're so obsessed with never cared about any of you. Why should a god care for the insects beneath him? His designs were beyond any of us, and they will not 
be stopped. He is master of the Force, master of us all. To stand against such power is to be destroyed. My father manipulated you just as he manipulated us. Deception was his greatest power. We thought we were a family, that we knew him. We were wrong. Please, let this madness end. The end will come only when it serves him. If destruction is what you crave, you shall have it. I am the weapon of his will. None can stand against his power. More deaths to lay at my father's feet. Master Satil, she's still alive. But Trad and Syl are dead. And the rest aren't far from it. So much darkness. We have to hurry. Form a circle, quickly. I'll keep you covered from here, just in case any stragglers are hiding out. Theron? She's my mother. I'm glad I can help, but... I don't think I want to see the inside of her mind. We're going to join our minds with Satil's to help her fight. Focus your minds on her. Watch her breathing and try to match it. Close your eyes. Let my voice guide you. Listen. Follow my voice. The Force unites us all. Through the Force, all things are one. Follow my voice. Follow. Since the others. I'm not sure if they made it in. Unexpected guests. Fascinating. Who are you? You don't recognize me? No. But you have come here on purpose. Who else could you be? I've heard so much about you. Impressive. Most impressive. What the? My wayward child. You of all people should know better than to challenge my strength. Or so I've gathered from this Jedi's memories. Your minds are resilient, to say the least. Adapting so quickly. Resisting so ably. This isn't the first time we've faced each other. You don't remember. Hmm. This Jedi remembers. Though she clearly lacks details. You aren't who you pretend to be. I am. And I am not. That's your original body, isn't it? You're not Valkorian or Vitiate. You're Tenebrae. As shrewd as I've been led to believe. The ritual carved into him isn't a plague. It's an imprint. An echo of who he was back then. It has taken longer than I'd hoped to recompose myself. But time has never been in short supply. Not for me. To be honest, I've quite enjoyed the process. The memories this Jedi and her followers have of me, of us, quite amusing. Am I supposed to think you're so old that shirts hadn't been invented? Poor, simple-minded creature. Do not fear. Soon, you will not have to think at all. The version of me that you knew became too complacent, too distracted by mortal concerns, empires, wars, 
even a family. I have seen where that path led. I'm not so easily distracted now. I will succeed where he failed. And thanks to you, I have a choice of interesting buttons to carry me to victory. <laughs> you lash out with such conviction. Don't you see how pointless it all is? I control this place. All that happens, every motion occurs by my design. And you are no different. You cannot succeed, only die alone. In the fight against you, no one is alone. He divided us. He knows that together, we are stronger than he can ever hope to be. I'd be honored to fight by your side. Together, we will end him. We'll find Sutil and the others at the center of all this. Come on! You believed you had won. That your achievements outweighed your losses. That your sacrifices meant something. Anything. After all that I have done, all that I have enslaved, all that I have destroyed, you should have known. You do not know the true face of power, but you will. Very soon, you will. I told you. I control all that happens here. I am immortal, infinite, endless. Everything ends, even you. I believe you tried to destroy me once before. You failed. I saved you then. I will not save you now. Fools! He thinks you will be lost here forever. But you have always known the way to destroy him. Together, we will find his doom. Satil is stronger than this. Duplicate believes. She is not the easy prey he assumes. He gleans the facts of his other lives from the memories and impressions of Satil and her students. But he has only the knowledge of those events. This Tenebrae possesses none of the wisdom earned by experiencing them. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. I know only what you know. Do not share in his arrogance. He is more vulnerable than he would have us believe. But he is still the most dangerous being in the galaxy. If we fail to destroy him here and now, there may never be another opportunity. He is a relic of an era long past. Destroy him. Break the chains he uses to ensnare us all. Free the galaxy from his manipulations. Avenge me. Avenge us all. So desperate for love, for approval, for self-determination. Each more powerful than the last, and also easily manipulated. You must have been endlessly entertaining. Ignore him. We're together. Brother. Sister. I... We know, brother. We know what? That he's just as deluded and self-absorbed as our parents? 
You couldn't let me be free. You were so afraid to let me be what I am, you killed me. I wouldn't even be here if she hadn't dragged me along. I'm sorry, Valen. We should have found another way. Another way to what? Cage me like they did. What exactly did you hope to do with me? It's what you want that matters. What you would have chosen if I hadn't taken away your choices forever. If I had found another way. Valen, please. Please? Please what, Mother? Please stop reminding you of the truth. Does it hurt? Because it pales next to what you did to me. Please listen to me, Valen. I don't deserve your forgiveness, but you deserve to hear this. I was wrong. He took you and I said nothing. He caged you and I stood by. He robbed you of the woman you were destined to be, but I, I let it happen. Others blame you for so much, but the fault is mine. How much pain and suffering might not have happened if I had just fought harder for you. I could have done more. I should have done more. I know this isn't nearly enough to make things right, but I hope hearing this brings you some peace, Valen. Can we focus? There's someone else here who needs to die. <laughs> Foolish child. You could never hope to. You presume limits to my power. There are none. You must reach the center. Go. What could you possibly be thinking? You must realize by now that everything you do here is meaningless. The Jedi's mind can no longer resist me. <laughs> it crumbles by the second. When she is obliterated, only I will remain. Watch, fight, flee, bring as many friends as you like. Nothing can stop me now. You're wrong. I can stop you. Ugh. Foolish child! Look at them. You're... Jedi and her weak-minded students, barely clinging to life, to sanity. They will fall, and once again, I will rise. No. Your power is your weakness. It blinds you. Jedi nonsense. Precisely. My students and I, who are we to resist your power? You knew you could dominate us all. That you could tear a path through our minds, absorbing our essence, strengthening yourself, crashing through all our defenses one by one. In time, your victory was inevitable. In time, you would claw your way here, into the very core of my being into the heart of my trap. <laughs> trap. Look around you. Yes, look around me. Look at my students, each of them shaken to their core by the death and chaos that you helped create. Eager for help, guidance, strength. Had you focused on any one of them, you might have succeeded. But your ego wouldn't allow it. Why settle for one student when you could assault them all? And why limit yourself to the students when their master was close at hand? I never needed to beat you. I only had to let you think you were invincible. Until now.
until every person who knows your weakness firsthand could come to face you. Until the one person who proved you could be defeated came here to destroy you, once and for all. I am master to all Sith. Not one can challenge my power. You named me your wrath. Here, now, I can think of no better name. Enough! You will all learn the true depths of my power. You think you know me. You will suffer. I cannot be denied. I am immortal. Everything you've done. Everyone you've betrayed. Everyone you've manipulated. <laughs> Everyone you've murdered. The Force seeks balance. Always. Welcome back. What is this? A victory party. The best I could do on short notice. We destroyed him. Utterly and forever. The Sith Emperor will never rise again. Then... it's over. We finally won. You must feel it. Just as I do. The weight of his evil. It's gone. Where is everyone else? My son is helping Kira and Scourge. They're taking my surviving students to our old training grounds on Coruscant. Arkan and Senya have left for Odessan. Perhaps now they will finally know true peace. The rest... Darth Mar, Mitra Surik, Revan... I believe they are one with the Force at last. Wait, how much time has passed? 
That's not important. You have given my son the home he always needed. I never expected a Sith to be the one to help him where I could not, but... He is content at last. Thank you. Theron is a good man. And a good friend. I'm proud to be working with him. You should spend more time with Theron. He needs you in his life. I would like that more than anything. Today, we defeated the most evil and destructive being in history. It has been centuries since the galaxy knew a day without Tenebrae's dark influence. Today is the first step toward a new future. Let's make that future a better one. Ah, you're awake. Shouldn't need this, then. Had an eventful day, have we? He's gone, Lana. Destroyed. Forever. I felt it. Kira and Scourge had me pick you up from the hangar. Apparently they were the first to wake from the ritual. You were unconscious for more than an hour. What happened? The Teal wanted a word with me. That must have been interesting. That's one way of putting it. You'll have to tell me all about it. But first, what heading should I set? Take us home, Lana. Aaron Lanier, I understand you have quite a story to tell. <laughs> 